Hello my beautiful family, welcome back to another video, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Olivia and I am a bikini competitor, online health and fitness coach and a bikini and wellness posing coach and again, welcome back to another video. So today we are going to talk about my new supplement routine because a lot of things in terms of supplementation have changed in the last couple of weeks. If you've seen my previous videos, you probably know why I have started working with a new coach, Kuba, and things are a little different. So today I thought I would take you through all of my supplements, um, what I take, when I take it, why I take it, and why some of them could be beneficial for you. Um, first things first, a little disclaimer. The dosages of things that I take and certain things that I take are very tailored to my needs and my goals. So do take inspiration from what I take. Some of this could really be beneficial. And as I said, I will be covering um, the whys and the benefits behind each supplement. Um, but at the same time, some of the dosages could be quite high and they could be too high for you. So main thing is get your blood work done and see what needs to be supplemented. That's the most important thing here. These are just supplements. Nothing will beat a nutritious diet and a healthy lifestyle and a good training routine. But things like supplements can definitely help you and aid you, but they won't do the work for you. And just a second little thing, I will not bore you by just sitting here for half an hour and talking about all of my supplements in one go because nobody's going to watch that. So I am going to kind of take you through my day. You would have seen my little morning concoction um, this morning when I woke up. I wasn't in the mood to talk so early. It was five o'clock in the morning. So I thought I'd give it some time, put myself together, get all my little to-do list things done in the morning and and then come on and and cover that uh, but as i said i will not be covering it all right now i'm just going to kind of take you through my day i have a few things to do today i might give you a little bit of an insight into it because i'm doing something a little big for my posing business today so i will bring you through that in a little while and i might show you some snippets of clips i'm going to be filming for instagram so if you're not following me on instagram make sure you are name on the screen as always and just before we get into the video please make sure if you're watching my videos, you are subscribed to the channel. It really helps. And like, comment, share with a friend. And let's get into it, shall we? So you saw my morning drink this morning. So the first thing I do upon wake is a whole liter of water or 1.2 because this is a knockoff Stanley, um, but they're 1.2 liters. So I usually just kind of drink that in the first half an hour, 40 minutes um, after wake. And I'll use this water as well then to make my morning drink, well, I, which I do prep the night before. So you'll probably see me prep another one tonight before tomorrow. Um, but what it is, is starting off, I, starting off, I take glutamine. Um, I have been swearing by glutamine for over two years now, I think. It is amazing for recovery and gut health and digestion, which is very, very important in my case with the level of food that I'm eating. But also... Um, my IBS issues that I do have, glutamine has certainly helped a lot and my dose has been upped. So I take 15 grams of this in my morning drink, but I also have an additional 10 grams in my intra-workout, which you will see later because I'll be making up a bottle for tomorrow's session. We are then going in with an absolute staple, um, obviously creatine. If you want to enhance your performance in the gym, increase the rate at which your body builds muscle, Creatine is a very, very safe supplement and it is the most researched supplement on the market. Especially you girls, do not be afraid of creatine. Monohydrate, five grams in the morning, five grams in trap workout. So I take 10 grams a day, which is not needed for most of you. Five grams will definitely do the job and no, it will not make you hold water. What creatine does, it, it just ensures your muscles are full. And when our muscles are full, they're actually full of glycogen and water because remember with every gram of carbohydrate we consume we store four grams or four mils of water alongside with that but that is what makes our muscles full it is not just water retention from creatine and this one is from naughty boy and it's candy bubblegum flavor amazing we are then going in with vitamin c you cannot go wrong with vitamin c immune system is very important Especially if you live in a country that tends to get quite cold and windy and rainy. Hello, Ireland. Vitamin C definitely helps to boost that immune system. And obviously putting your body under so much stress with training and everything, it really doesn't help supplement. Now, I do take quite an extreme dose. I take three grams of, width of it 
which is a lot and i'm not sure why i'm taking so much but listen it makes the drink taste a lot better this is why i get powder it's just it's literally eight euro lasts forever like there's 500 grams in this tub i take three a day so you do the math it lasts a long time and it's much cheaper than pills actually um then going back to digestion i am going in with greens from trained by jp it has it's kind of a three in one it has greens it has a multivitamin and a probiotic um it really helps in the morning i'm not going to lie um it definitely has kept me a lot more regular i used to drink greens in prep just because when fiber in my diet gets quite low in prep when we start cutting food obviously going to the toilet can be a challenge but um, my coach tells me to take these even in the off season, so I do, and I have noticed a massive difference um, having these in my diet. So six grams of this, which is a scoop. I do weigh everything. I don't just scoop it because a scoop is not always the same as the next scoop. You know what I mean? And obviously I want to make sure I get all the servings out of this product and I'm not taking more one day than I should be and using up too much product because these things are just a little bit on the pricier side and I just want to make sure... I am getting the servings that the box says I'm going to get. Alongside this, you would have seen apple cider vinegar, a whole 20 mils of it. Not great, but this is where the vitamin C comes in to kind of kill the taste of it. And listen, if you really hate the taste of it, put in some like my wadi or something or water flavoring and it will kill the taste. You can also get flavored ones. I just have the plain ones. They just taste like spinach. Um, but you can get flavored ones too, which I actually have when these are done. And then one whole lemon, so even more vitamin C. But to be honest, I felt amazing over the last while. No kind of hints of getting sick, no sinus infections. And digestion has been absolutely incredible, even with the amount of food I am eating, because I'm on a lot of food. Um, I did a full day of eating last week, so click back a video if you actually want to see what 2,700 calories of food looks like for a little girl like me. Uh, but it is a lot of food to put down. It's a lot of food for the stomach to be digesting. And these things have massively helped me um, keep everything in check. So then with meal one, which I already had, I do take all my pills, my morning pills. So I got this cute divider of Amazon. It was less than 10 euro. And what I love about it is the things are actually big. It fits all of my pills because I have a lot of pills. Um, so I'm not going to go through these right now because as you can see, we're fairly empty and I actually forgot to take them with my meal once. So I'm going to do it right now. Uh, I'm going to show you how many pills at once I actually take. So it's quite a few pills to be taken in the morning. But I'm not going to be breaking it down right now. Just as I said, we're looking fairly empty and it's Sunday, the perfect day to be organizing your life for the next week. So I am going to refill this a bit later today uh, and then I'll just take you through everything that goes in here, what I take morning and evening and why I take it all. And we're also going to do a little stock take because I do think I'm low on quite a few bits and I'm going to have to spend a load of money trying to order it. So we'll do that later on today. As I said, now I need to chug these pills down and I need to just kind of set my living room up. So I have my backdrop. I have my backdrop. I have my mirror over there. I don't think I need a ring light because the light in here is actually really good today. I might just open the big blind when I'm actually filming for Instagram because I'll have the camera over there. Uh, but I'll give you a little sneak peek into what's happening. So from the next video, I will probably be linking two Instagram pages to you to follow on. Um, I am separating my coaching business and my posing business because up until now everything was happening on my private account and um, well public but private you know what I mean and it just got to a point where promoting coaching and posing was just a little bit too much not bombarding my stories every two minutes um, so I've decided to completely separate the business I am introducing a new posing Instagram I am still posed with Olivia for now um, I am thinking of rebranding in the next couple of months, but for now I am still posed with Olivia, but it will be a whole separate page on Instagram. I am introducing new packages because for up until now I've just been pay as you go, you know, pay per session. Um, so I am introducing a whole new kind of package. So there's going to be a bronze package, gold package, platinum package, um, and some few little add-ons. And I will maybe next week, um, just so you guys hear it first as well. I will be running a little giveaway where you can win a free posing lesson with me. So make sure you go check out that and keep your eyes peeled on the little giveaway. There's going to be plenty of coming, I have to say. I have plenty of things planned as to what is going to be happening. I have a whole new booking system. 
um, so people will just be able to click link and book a session rather than having to message me. Of course, all of you are still more than welcome to message me to book a session. I love chatting to you guys, but it will just make it easier, especially for those returning clients where they need to message me all the time to book a lesson. They will just be able to click link, book a time slot that's available, and I get all the details to contact you then if I have any questions. I'm going to film a little introduction. First of all, I'm going to tell Instagram who I am, how long I've been in the posing industry, and what wins and successes I have under my belt already. And just so people get to know me because not everybody um, that's going to follow that page has been following my page already. Also, the sun is absolutely shining today. Let me just show you. Hold on. The sun is absolutely shining today. And I've had a little bit of an idea. So I was going to pose yesterday after training. Sorry, I'm going outside for a reason. I was going to pose after training yesterday, but I really hurt my shin on the last exercise, typical. Uh, I just kicked it off the glute drive and I couldn't walk for a while. So I was thinking, because the sun is shining, it's really warm outside, and we have beautiful greenery right in front of us with like a little stage thing where it's a, it's a foundation um, for like a shed or something like that, but it's empty. Um, our landlords never put anything on it so I'm thinking of actually whipping up my heels but it's there behind let me zoom in it's there behind the cars you can see it almost looks like a stage with just all the green in the background I'm thinking of filming a really cool posing video over there today I've been dying to do it for a while but the weather has been absolutely crap um, so I'm thinking of doing that today so I might give you a little sneak peek but you are gonna have to follow me on Instagram to see the full shebang but yeah, I need to set up for filming now, so I will pop the camera somewhere so you see a few clips. Um, but obviously I'm saving the whole thing for, for the reveal, but you're actually the ones to hear first about what's happening. So stay tuned for the rest of the video, I hope you enjoy it. Don't forget to like again, subscribe to the channel, and I shall see you um, properly. I'll see you when I'm filling up my pillbox probably next, I'll probably do that next. And I'll be making my interest for tomorrow, and I will just bring you through all my supplements. And we're also going to see how much money I need to spend on a new stock. So I've got my whole setup, my sword in the background, we've got the backdrop. Time to film an introductory video to the new Instagram and I might also film a reel about the new booking system and maybe a couple of other bits just so I have to post um, during the week before we actually get to the laptop work. So let's give it a try. How many takes is it gonna take? That is the question. I forgot to press record on my phone. That video is a lot better than this. Okay, let's go. Welcome to Pose with Olivia. Self, my name is Olivia. I am a bikini competitor and an online coach with four years of experience in the industry. I am a two times overall PCA champion and junior champion, and I have many of my own wins and client wins under my belt. I have successfully posed a lot of girls all the way up to first place over the last couple of years, and I am just very excited to meet a lot of you, to work with some of you amazing competitors over the next couple of years, I hope. And I thought it was just time to separate this from my own Instagram and just bring something fresh and new to the industry. So guess who finally got a new tripod? The camera is standing by itself and I can actually film. Very full of water right now. I've been chugging water today. It is so warm. But I've done all my filming for Instagram. I've set up the booking system. I have made a poster with the new price list and package list. A little tired, but I thought it's time we fill up the supplement box. Obviously, I have one day that I don't need to fill up for, which is good. And what I might do is I might just take out this evening's supplement and put them in a little thing so I can fill up all of... I just realized I was taking Monday as well, not even Sunday, so whatever so we'll have this whole thing filled for next week anyway so let me just grab everything because there is a lot and i will talk you through everything that i take morning and evening minus um three things that i don't have here right now one of them is a pill and two other ones are on the dark side of things which i will cover obviously i am very open about the fact i'm not natural anymore um, so I will cover that a little bit later because those things I take in the evening and as I said I will be taking you through the day and kind of taking you when I take things when I take them um, So let's just grab all of my magic pills. This is my magic box 
and some of these things are mine some are john's let me just grab one more bottle by the way i am feeling myself today <laughs> um a little full-on food but i'm actually pretty happy with how my physique is looking as well given the amount of food i'm eating let's just start with morning soap so as you can see we can just open them up and they are ready so i'm just gonna pick things out as they kind of come and if i take them in the morning i'm gonna put it in and let me see this is not mine we love empty bottles in here mine this is mine this is not mine things i can already tell you i will be running out of forgot one more thing as well so okay let's go into morning supplements as i said i'm just gonna pick them out as i see them um, that have an O on them because John and I we have the same supplements a lot of the time so we just put a J and an O and we know who's is who's by the way he just rudely labelled one of my bottles with a J so he's going to get given out to when he comes back um, but first of all we'd go in with a bit of a staple and that is fish oils so these are the Omega V from Train by JP and just before I show you everything I do get everything on my core supplements you can use my code Olivia to get yourself 10% off I don't get anything from it, so it's purely a code for just you guys to benefit from. And sometimes the guys are nice to me and throw me in a few samples or something. Um, but yeah, these are fish oils. The reason I absolutely love this brand is because it is such quite co high quality. For every supplement they do, I can confirm they're the highest of the highest qualities. But these fish oils especially, they, you can probably see it, they, they are made from flaxseed oil rather than actual fish oil which obviously eliminates the fishy taste in your mouth after and they have all the omega-3 6s and 9s and they're just anti-inflammatory as well so i take so the serving size is three soft gels i actually take four i take i take two in the morning and two in the evening so i'm just gonna pop in two into all of the morning that's four grams i am also have supposed to have the omega pharma v but i'm just out at the moment so that is onto the list next thing with my name on it would be love heart us competitors we really do need to take care of our heart health especially for those enhanced competitors out there so this is it improves kidney health and um, cholesterol and reducing blood pressure obviously with what we do our blood pressure sometimes can go through the roof so heart health absolutely crucial so this is love heart they also have heart care which i don't really need this is a bit of a milder supplement and this kind of does me so serving size here is two capsules so i take again one in the morning i think we're gonna be out one in the morning and one in the evening i should have enough for all of this week so i'll probably order one two three four five six seven eight yeah i'll have just enough for the whole week so i'll probably order when i get paid at the end of the week because the lads are literally next day delivery i ordered whey which i will show you in a little bit i ordered it on wednesday morning and it was with me thursday so fantastic vital support again trained by jp not everything is trained by jp a lot of things are um, vital support again for us competitors bodybuilders powerlifters athletes in general you need to be taking care of your vitals you are exerting yourself a lot of the time you're sometimes doing things that are not too healthy for you in prep eating way below the needs of your body in a bulking phase sometimes eating way beyond the needs of your body so we just need to make sure we're really taking care of our health markers so what this does now this is on cycle support um i was taking it even as a natural it's just really really beneficial my boyfriend swears by this obviously he is you know um but this is a one month supply unfortunately however i only take half a serving of this just because i'm not on any extreme peds my nutrition is in a really really good spot if i was in prep i probably would go up to the full full dose of eight caps a day I take half a dose, which is four caps, again, spread across two in the morning, two in the evening. It also contains TUDCA and NAC, which are fab. But osteopro joints. <laughs> I don't even want to know what my, go my joints go through when I train. 
but trust me, I feel my joints when I train. My knees are not in the best spot. My hips are not in the best spot. And that's just from previous training protocols and stuff. And just not taking care of my joints. I've never been taking collagen. I was never taking anything for my joints. Thinking I'm young and I'll get away with it, which I don't. My knees have been causing me a lot of issues lately, as well as my really tight hips. So this is, I can't even really pronounce this, patented UC2. T-R-A-A-C-S calcium and Apray Flex Boswella, whatever that is, I don't know, but I just know this is a really, really good joint supplement. And listen, if you train, you need to be taking care of your joints because by the time you're 50, you're going to be in a wheelchair from everything you put your body through. So serving size is four cups. So again, two in the morning, two in the evening. And this just ensures that we are taking it regularly. So you're taking it every, what, like 12 hours or than 24 and it's just a more even even spread but we will be out of this this week as well so we need to order so far we need to order love heart and osteo pro this is nearly the end of the morning supplements i don't take that much in the morning so another one we're going in is even more fish oils krill oil now this is it's omega-3 it is fish based obviously you want to be getting a balance of all of it as well but i only take one cap of this so it's not that bad um, but it's from, it's phospholipids. So it's just another version of, um, of a fish oil. And this time it's actually a fish oil, not a flaxseed oil. So again, the serving size here is actually two. So we are again taking one in the morning and one in the evening. And I actually do not think I will have enough for all the evenings this week. Okay, I think I will. Two, four, five. Okay, I'm missing one, but I should have an order come in by then. And listen, if we miss one evening of it, it will not be the end of the world. But we will need to order this. This is actually really cheap. If you are looking for fish oils, I got these of Mycorrhizal. They're Ostrovid. It's a Polish brand. They're actually very cheap. I wouldn't get everything from them. But simple things like krill oil, vitamin C, that's Ostrovid as well. Um, Definitely worth it because you don't really need super high quality supplements for that and that's something you'll see with me like the essential supplements like my osteopro my vital support my love heart care they need to be of the highest quality whereas those little things like krill oil vitamin c like they're all the same you know um next one again cheap vitamin d3 k2 if you live in a country that doesn't get a lot of sunshine definitely worth supplementing and you'll notice a massive difference in a lot of things yeah like your immune system your skin your hair everything your mood um d3 can really impair your mood if it's low and obviously k2 just helps the absorption of that vitamin as well and now this is a bit extreme i actually take 6,000 I use so I take three of them and these I just take in the morning so most um d3 k2s will come in 2000 i use i actually take three and listen i live in ireland the sunshine i showed you earlier is not a regular occurrence so okay three in each morning the last thing will be inshore which is a gda or a glucose disposal agent if you are eating a lot of carbohydrates and you do think you are a little bit sensitive to carbohydrates or you just want to optimize the way they're utilized in your body and the way they uptake in your muscles especially around training and um, they're definitely worth having with meals like your pre and post-workout meal i take it so this is a two month supply but I actually get more out of it because the serving size is three and I only take three on a training day and two on a rest day and I have three rest days a week. So I take this with meal one. So I put it in there. I take it with my last meal. So I put it in the evening slot, but I also take it with my pre-workout meal. So I usually just grab a few, put it in a little baggie and I have it in my food bag that I bring to work. But what this has, it's berberine based and berberine is a very good GDA. So it's chromium. I'm pretty sure this has chromium. Yes, it has chromium. It has berberine. I used to take the supplement separately and berberine quite, can be quite pricey. Now, this is a pricey supplement, but as I said, the last about two and a half months and I've usually been a little bit carb sensitive and I've been putting away a lot of carbs lately with no issues. So I do think maybe this kind of plays into that as well. There is one more supplement that is definitely helping me again with the digestion of carbohydrates, but I will get into that in the evening because I will be taking it alongside some other bits that are not a part of the just normal pill box. But again, just one in the morning, one in the evening, and one with my pre, no, yeah, pre-workout. He doesn't have me taking post-workout, which I'm surprised because if anything, I would actually be taking it with my post and not meal one. 
just because I don't have a lot of carbs in meal one. So that is, that's actually very interesting. Uh, but yeah, this will be part of the evening subs then again. Oh, there's one little pill in here that I don't know what it, I know what it is. Hold on. I also have an old pill box of all the stuff I used to take. So what I like taking is biotin just for my hair, skin and nails. And trust me girls, I only take that in the morning. Um, so I just take one. I can't remember what brand it was. I'm on the last of it. I actually think it's Prozies, um, which you can also use my code, um, Olivia10. There's also a link in the description if you want to shop through my link, which would massively actually help me. Um, so that'd be fantastic. But they have really good supplements over there as well. But I mainly love them for all the sugar-free sauces and their clothes. Um, so make sure you do check that out. But I just had a little pill there and the thing that I already had filled. And I was like, what is that? noticed a massive difference after prep because my hair and nails always go to absolute shit after prep because I'm just sort of proud of everything in my body um, and I noticed a massive difference with how quickly my hair bounced back like so shiny and thick the how quickly my nails by my nails bounce back um, I was this is probably the best my nails have actually been um, but anyway this is the morning setup that we've just filled up so we're gonna close that and we're gonna flip it over to the evening side. And as I said, I will not be covering all the supplements that I told you I take morning and evening. We're gonna go straight into the just evening specific supplements. So we are going in with vitamin B, which um, now, if you are a competitor, your B12 and your B6 levels will be elevated in your blood work anyway, and that is completely normal. But um, what this does, well, it just supports the nervous system and this is why we take it in the evening time, just to calm the nervous system down after a whole day, allowing you to be in a more of a relaxed state before going to bed. And it also supports metabolism of energy apparently. Um, but it's just a B complex. So it has the B6, B12, actually has a bit of biotin in it, but not the whole 100%, um, only 40, so I just take it as well. Uh, it has B1, B2, niacin, which I think is B5, um, panto something acid. I'm trying to um, translate as I go because this is Polish. It's from Trek. Um, but I just take one cap every evening. This one is actually curcumin. Uh, or curcumin, curcumin. If you're Polish, curcuma. Um, and this is from turmeric. So it's derived from the turmeric root, I'm pretty sure. Yes, turmeric extract. Um, so it's derived from the root of turmeric and it is just digestion more than anything. We all know how good turmeric is for your digestion. Um, these I actually just got in a health shop in Evergreen. I've seen them in like pharmacies and stuff um, because I actually couldn't find it anywhere online. And it was a little bit pricey as well, which I'm very surprised about considering it's a plant. But it is what it is. Uh, I can't tell you if I notice a massive difference. One, two, three, four, five, six. I just need six. Um, I can't tell you if I've noticed a massive difference just because I've been doing, I've been doing so much for my gut health, like the extra glutamine, the, um, the greens and the way I eat my meals, my digestion walks in the morning and after my bigger meals. So I have been doing a lot for my digestion. So I can't tell you if this directly has helped any of it, but I mean, it's caused no harm and my coach swears by this. So if you are actually trying to look for it, this is what it's called, just curcumin. Or curcumin, <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce it. Um, everything if you are not an athlete but you just want to kind of support your health um you don't need all of the fancy supplements here as i said supplements are only meant to supplement your diet not fix it or substitute it um so what you could do is just invest in a very high quality multivit i actually have one because i was taking it before i got a list of my new supplements like I used to take a very expensive one from Supplement Needs because it had boron in there and stuff like that just to boost testosterone because my testosterone's low. Um, but then I came across, because obviously I'm an ambassador for Prozies, so I obviously went through the website looking at what they have and I ordered their Multivit. It's really not expensive. It's 20 euro, but I think it's about a two month supply. Uh, I think there's a hundred, no, there's 200 caps in here and the serving size is two caps. So like. 
100 days that's over three months for like 20 euro i don't have the box the box has all the ingredients but i remember being very positively surprised with the ingredient list and the percentages of everything um hence why i got it so if i ever run out of like my vital support and everything i could just take two caps of this as well that's why i am definitely not getting rid of them because they're incredible um so yeah so that literally covers everything now i just need to go back and fill up the evening side of things with things i already showed you that i take in the morning as well and i need to make a little list of what i need to order put it in my cart and pray for some sales because these things are expensive like vital support we're talking about 50 euro omega v's 20 i think now that is like two months which is not bad um osteo pro Servings per container, 120, that's 60, 30. That is only a month and it is expensive. So this is kind of a shitty one. Love Heart as well. Um, there is 30 servings here as well for like nearly 50 quid as well. Um, so that's what, 100, 150. Inshore, I don't need yet, thank God. Krillor, thank God, is very cheap. It's like 10 euro. And this I have enough for another two weeks. Um, omegas i still have a whole one unopened all my powders are stocked up i have extras in the cupboard d3k2 is stocked up so we need love heart we need osteo pro and the rest i'm actually okay with and krill oil and the rest i'm actually okay with for another two weeks at least i think or two weeks um so yeah what i've also done just to help me keep track of everything i actually have a spreadsheet made where I have um, what supplements I take, where I can get them cheapest and how long they last me. So I kind of know um, in advance what I'll be running out of first, how long things last to me and blah, 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 blah. So yeah, I'm just gonna fill in the evening side of the box and I will catch you later. Um, if anything interesting happens, I might pick up the camera. I'm not showing you my meals today or anything like that, um, but I might just pick up the camera here and there. If not, you'll catch me in the evening where I talk you through an extra three or four things that I take to aid my sleep and things that are on the darker side of bodybuilding. Not me forgetting, I need to make my interest for tomorrow, which I said I would show you as well. Um, I won't be going through it in too much detail just because I actually covered that in my last full day of eating last week. So if you want to click back a video and watch that, I talked to you through exactly what I take intra workout and why. Um, so you can click back the video, but I will still show you kind of in this video because obviously it is part of the supplementation. But I take another 10 grams of glutamine and another 5 grams of creatine. I'm not going to say why, you all know now. But there is also two other supplements that I take intra workout. That is MPS Max, which is an EAA blend alongside Hydrolyzed, is it? Hydrolyzed whey protein. Um, so just long story short, because I did cover this in detail last week. Um, obviously having six meals a day spaced two to three hours apart, I am getting a protein hit um, every two to three hours. There is only so much protein our body can digest and utilize um, at the same time. So people that have like three meals a day and have like 50, 60 grams of protein each meal, your body will only absorb as much as it can physically. So if you space it out in smaller portions, it's a lot easier for the body A to digest it and B to uptake it. So eating my pre-workout meal, waiting an hour to go to the gym, two hour session, half an hour before and after I start just, you know, getting to the gym, doing my bits, getting ready, changing, whatever I need to do. That could easily be four to over four hours, A, without food and B, without protein. So this is actually an intra-workout protein blend. So that's what it is. Is because my intra workout carbohydrates are also orange flavor, so they don't clash and they actually taste really good together. Um, so yeah, powder, liquid, whatever you call it, powder carbohydrates, liquid carbs when you drink it, quick boost of energy intra workout, and there is many many studies that prove that these carbohydrates do absorb and work as quick as they claim to and give you the boost in your training that you need. The body will utilize those carbs and help and help you maintain performance throughout your session, which I definitely notice because my sessions are very long. My sessions are over two hours sometimes. And there is no way my pre-workout that I eat in an hour before I even got into the gym will actually push me through that session and let me maintain intensity and technique and energy throughout the whole session. So I will start sipping on it about third exercise in. Um, usually drink a bit more before like bigger lifts or where I feel I need more carbohydrates and 
aim to have a finish before the last two exercises. So funnel into the bottle, into the fridge the night before, and I just grab it on my way to the to work in the morning, and then it's with me when I go to the gym right after work. Quick intermission from all the supplements. John is back in the vlog. Whoa. We were just out for a walk getting the coffee, my weekly coconut cappuccino. And I'm just having my next meal, so it's just yogurt, berries, dark chocolate. But I thought I'd show you. Oh god. A little visitor we have. And I'm pretty sure you're gonna find this part of the vlog more interesting than any other part because how could you not? Bobby! Come here. Come here, Bonnie. Come on, say hello to the vlog. Say hello to the vlog, Bonnie. So yeah, we are dog parents for the week. Yeah. Uh, obviously, there hasn't been a dog in my house since we lost our doggo. By the way, yeah, um, yeah. Um, so it's nice to have a little four-legged friend in the house for for the week. So it's uh, it's John's sister's doggo, the Royal friend. So we're doing the honors, and I'm actually really happy about it. I have gotten a couple of questions of people like, "Do you think you'll get another dog?" and we definitely do want a dog in the future, but definitely not while we're living here. And I'm not ready. Yeah. That was a big deep breath in. I thought you were going to say something. <laughs> no, I'm nearly out of breath when eating this. I'm so full today. But yeah. I'll be catching up with you very soon. And I'll show you my evening supplements and the other little bits and bobs that I told you about. Other than that, we've covered most of today. It shouldn't be too long of a video this time. Although I know some of you really enjoy the long videos when you're doing your cardio. Hence the early uploads for me this time around. Um, I'll be scheduling videos for 6 o'clock in the morning every time I post. Just because I know how many girls are and guys are on prep right now watching my videos on the Stairmaster. So that's who I'm doing it for. Okay, I am very chilled out right now, as you can see, which means it is time for my evening subs slash first thing in the morning before I even get out of bed. But, um, so first of all, just before bed, I do take a supplement and I forgot to bring it over. So about 30 minutes before bed, I take the Trained by JP Dream Sleep. So it just helps you unwind before bed. That's why you take it a little bit before bed, so it gives you time to kick in and yeah encourages relaxation and promotes deep sleep which I really really struggle with which I will get into why because I know exactly why in a little bit when I talk about another supplement but dream sleep is amazing um and then we're going to go into um some other things so I am very well she's made herself comfy quick funny what are you doing there? Huh? You want to say hi to the vlog now? She's very camera shy. Um, anyway, so yes, I am... I am very open and honest about the fact that I'm not exactly natural. And haven't been since my last prep. Now, in my last prep, I didn't technically use PEDs. Now... They're still considered PEDs, but they're not anabolic steroids. That's the main thing. I was taking Clenbuterol, which is a fat loss agent, and T3 and T4, which are thyroid hormones that I still do take. And I just divide them up into these things, and they are... I just divide them up into these things. And this is right beside my bed. Because the only way for thyroid hormones to work at their full capacity is to never pair them with caffeine. If you are somebody that has a coffee first thing in the morning, which I very often do, um, these will just not work. Now, I know I'm showing you an empty box, but they're in the cupboard over there. Um, I do need to fill this up, but it's T3 and T4. They are thyroid hormones. They also act as fat loss agents, um, which... Obviously, that was the tool we used in my bodybuilding prep. Then another thing that I do take that is a little bit on the enhanced side is metformin. Now I'm going to show you the packet. Um, this is, in the bodybuilding world, this is a glucose disposal agent. So just like... So just like my Train by GP Inshore is a GDA, 
this also acts as a GDA. So I only take half a tab, which is 500 micrograms, I think, something like that. Milligrams, actually. Um, 500 milligrams. I take it with my last meal every single day. Um, so that's in the other purple pill box in the PM side because I always just take those with my last meal for ease. Um, so yeah, it is technically a diabetes drug. Um, so obviously that controls insulin levels and glucose levels in your body, um, acting as another GDA. Next thing, which is quite the new addition, and I know I'm going to get so much hate for this, especially on Instagram. Um, I haven't actually posted this on Instagram because to be honest, the people that kind of give me hate on Instagram, none of them watch my YouTube and obviously in my YouTube I go a lot more in depth but with everything like yes I may post more on Instagram but I'm definitely a lot more in depth on YouTube and I share everything with you guys this is something I haven't shared on Instagram because I just know with the audience I have there even though I have so many amazing people that support every part of my journey there is also a lot of hate and yeah, this is quite a new addition, Protocols from Cuba. Um, this is a peptide. So again, it is a PED. Very expensive one at that. Uh, but it is not a steroid. It is not an anabolic steroid. So I do not take any about anabolic steroids at the moment. I will be talking about that part in a little bit. Um, it's GH, human growth hormone. Um, proven to work amazingly. Yes, they are injectables, unfortunately. Um, it's proven to work incredibly in terms of recovery. And now I don't know how long it takes for GH to kick in. Um, I've been taking it for nearly two weeks now. So I doubt I'm getting any full effects from it just yet. But I have noticed that my DOMS have gone down a lot. Like I might be sore after the session and then the next day it kind of eases off a lot more but this could also be because my body is getting used to new training stimulus so obviously we'll see with time it also does promote um, a better rate of muscle gain and it just has many many benefits I read a whole no I was gonna say a whole article that's not true I read multiple articles researching this before even buying it and you know there was a lot more pros and cons if using if used in safe amounts and i take two i use every single day before bed one other thing then left is something i don't have at the moment it's coming it's in the post and i'm going to be very very open and honest here many many girls don't talk about this but i will be taking testosterone um <laughs> Why are you taking testosterone, Olivia? You're not a man. I will be taking female, te female testosterone, Femtest, which is in much, much, much lower dosages than the testosterone you see all the male bodybuilders use. Like, for reference, um, TRT, testosterone replacement therapy for men. So this is what you would kind of take to bring your testosterone to baseline levels, just in range if your testosterone is on the lower side. Or let's say you are actually, um, what's it called? What's it called? Massing, whatever it's called. You know, when you actually increase your PEDs. Um, and then let's say you get off cycle for a bit and you're just cruising on a baseline level. So that for men would be about 150, let's say, to 200 milligrams. I will be taking three milligrams every three days. It's not a lot. Us females definitely do not need a lot. Like our healthy range of testosterone for a female is zero to two, technically. Whereas for a man, it's way in the 20s. So obviously we don't need as much. It's still kind of, it's still the same product. It's just very, very diluted, which is why we do need to order a separate product because, you know, getting a rate, getting like 0.3 of a mil of, of a mig out of like 300 is just way too difficult. So they do make one that's just more and more dilute and it's called Femtest. And yes, I just got my bloods done last week. My bloods just came back last week as well, literally two days after I got them done. That's the quickest I've ever got my bloods back from a GP. Uh, everything is in range apart from my testosterone and my estrogen, which obviously explains the loss of my cycle as well. Why my cycle never came back post show. It is because my testosterone is low. If my testosterone is low, my estrogen is also probably going to be low. 
Um, but this is also why I told you I'm experiencing very poor quality of sleep. Low mood, mood swings, tiredness, fatigue, and just overall well-being, let's say. I just feel very off. Obviously, I do not have my cycle. And I am bringing all of this down to low testosterone. Um, because obviously, if you increase the testosterone in your body, a lot of it will aromatize to, not a lot of it, a portion of it will aromatize to estrogen which men really don't want this is why they take estrogen blockers whereas in my case that's what i want to happen because i want to get my estrogen up without having to take estrogen and and get my period back that way obviously so my testosterone is 0 0.5 uh, which is very low now it's not out of range it's still in range but it's not optimal. If I want to put on muscle, if I want to grow, if I want to be a healthy functioning woman, um, my testosterone is not optimal to do so. So yes, we will be implementing a fem test from next week or when it decides to arrive. It was supposed to be here last week. Um, so yeah, still waiting on it, but it was definitely a conscious decision. Um, it's not something that was pushed on me by any means. If something it's something I've considered for a long time in the past um, just because I got my bloods done before prep and it was 0 0.5 I got my bloods done in prep it was 0 0.1 and then after prep it just came back up to 0 0.5 and it never got any higher than that so I just thought I'd share it with you guys I probably won't be telling Instagram anytime soon because there's no need the people that really enjoy watching me and being part of this will come here to YouTube to watch this so you guys know um but yeah i think this pretty much covers everything um it was probably a longer video than i anticipated anyway i hope that some of this information helped you maybe gave you inspiration as to what you could be supplementing or what to look out for in your blood work and if something is low maybe what you could take to help yourself and obviously some staples that as an athlete or not you should be taking um so i hope you found it informative useful and i hope you apply some of this knowledge to your own journey or your clients journeys and just to finish off i want to say a massive massive thank you for watching the video and being here and today is the first of september a brand new month i don't know what date it'll be when you see this probably about the fourth or fifth so I do want to say I have opened up a couple of coaching spaces. If anybody is interested in starting their fitness journey with me, make sure to just slide into my DMs on Instagram, which will be linked. And you could also just pop down into the description and there's a link for my inquiry form right there for you to click. Same with posing lessons. If you are a bikini or a wellness competitor and you are looking for a bit of help with your posing, um, just reach out. I just set up the new Instagram as well, so I'll obviously link that one here too. And you can just go straight there, click the book link and book in a session with me or you could just message me as well and we can work it out. So again, thank you so, so much for watching and stay tuned for the next video. Ciao!